we're going to learn how to do this kind of surrealistic cut in half um, effect with something kind of sitting inside here. So we're going to talk a little bit about layer masking. We're going to talk a little bit about dodging and burning. And then we're going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, just cutting things and, and making things look neat and clean. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm just going to go ahead um, really quick. I just need to save this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag in that old man face. So I'm going to go ahead and take that old man face. I'm just going to drag it over the Photoshop icon. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is remove him from the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my quick selection tool. I'm going to select subject. Does a pretty good job. I'm just going to hit command C. Command V. I'll delete that background layer and I'm just going to add a solid colored white layer. Solid color. We'll just choose white. And I'm just going to put that underneath. So now I have my guy separated from the background there. So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to shrink him just a little bit so he's not too big there. Okay. The next thing is we're going to cut his face directly in half. Nice, straight, clean cut. So what I'm going to do is I can grab this rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to draw a line that cuts kind of right through like the middle of his nose, about right there. Okay. Now we're just going to make a new layer via cut. I'll make sure I'm on layer one. I'm going to go up to select, or my bad, layer. We're going to go to layer, new, layer via cut. And now what that did is it sliced it right in half just on that line. Perfect. So now I have the two faces separated, okay? So as you can see, we're, we're getting closer. So we've separated the two faces. Now we're gonna add, and I'll just hide the skull, we're gonna add these ovals to help it make it look like it's an actual surface, all right? So to do that, I'm gonna go down here and find my ellipse tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a flat ellipse, just like that. I'm going to make sure it is on top of make sure it's on top of layer one, just like that. Okay. And I'm going to change the color of it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick like a kind of like a red, like a bloodish red color. There we go. And now this is the key here. I'm going to size this so I can hold shift and I'm going to size it so that it runs perfectly to the edge of his head. It's a little long. So I'm going to make it a little bit more narrow. Again, I'm holding shift, make it a little flatter, raise it up a little bit, move it over a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Good, that looks pretty good there. Not too shabby, I can maybe click on it and I'll move it over just a little bit more. Let's see there, nice, that looks good. So now what I can actually do is I'm gonna just click that ellipse I'm going to copy and paste it and put it under the top half. So Command C, Command V. And I'm going to put it kind of like right there. So now if we look, we have our two ellipses. Attached. So now we're going to merge these because let's say I want to move it. I don't want to accidentally move it without the ellipse. So we want those to be together. 
So to merge, I'm going to click ellipse 1, layer 2. Make sure I have both those. I'm going to hold shift. So I'll do that again. So I click ellipse 1. I hold shift and click layer 2. And I'm going to go up to layer and merge layers. Awesome. Let's do that with the bottom one. So I click ellipse 1. I'm going to click hold shift and click layer 1. I'm going to go up to layer. And then I'm going to merge layers just like that. Perfect. So now when I move this, notice it's got that ellipse on it. Awesome. Good. Good, good, good. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and let's add um, that skull. And let's get that skull in there because I want to have it look like that skull is sitting inside of that head. So I'm going to drag the skull into Photoshop right onto my document. And I'm going to select subject because I want to get rid of the background. I can grab my minus and I can minus that and get this nice and clean best I can. I can add to it a little bit, add to there. All right, so now the next step would be, I'm just going to hit Command C and Command V to get it off of its background and delete the back. And there we go. We kind of got our skull there. All right. So now what I'm going to do, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to position my skull kind of where I want it. And now I'm going to add a layer mask to that. Remember, with a layer mask, we can use a paintbrush with black paint. I'm going to make sure I'm on my layer mask. And now I'm going to slowly just erase, make this a hard brush. until I kind of find the edge of the face. So I'm going to kind of go to about right. I'm just going to go just below the edge there, just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and erase the rest on top. So when we're layer masking, we're constantly adjusting the opacity of our brush to help make it look more kind of realistic. So there we go, so I got that. So now I'm gonna do the bottom, clean up that edge a little bit, make it nice and clean. So now I'm gonna do the bottom, the bottom draw down here. So I'll kind of get that. Just past that edge a little bit. There we go, kind of like that. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do here, okay, is I'm just going to soften that edge so it's not so harsh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to go soft round. I'm going to lower the opacity to about 50%. I'm going to make that brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to brush kind of over this edge just to kind of soften it a little bit so it's not so harsh. So that's just going to give it kind of a nice feathered edge there across. All right. Cool. Now I can I can resize this just a little bit just so it fits a little bit nicer kind of like so. Awesome. So now it's starting to look pretty realistic. The only thing that we have to do is adjust maybe the contrast and add some shadows. So we're going to just make this a little darker and desaturate it. So image adjustments, hue and saturation. So I'm just going to kind of desaturate 
you can adjust the hue a little bit so it fits kind of the tone of the picture. Kind of like it there. And then I'm going to make it just a little bit darker, right? So if something's sitting behind it, it's just going to be a little bit darker. It's not going to be as bright. Good. So now the last thing is going to be burning. And burning allows us to darken selective areas of an image. So if I wanted to, I could go in. I'm just going to touch up this edge here where it's a little... Kind of wonky. There we go. Looks a little better. Good. So I'm going to go in, and the burn tool is in our tools menu. And it looks like a little hand. If you see that, I'm right over here in my tools. It looks like a little hand. I'm going to make sure I'm on my picture of my skull. And what this does is, if you look, it's darkening certain areas. So I can use this to darken kind of the top edge and the bottom edge. of my skull so it looks like it's sitting underneath that face. Now what it's burning right now is the midtones, and those are the grays. So you can do the shadows, which are the darker areas. You can do the highlights, which are the brighter areas. So you might have to fluctuate between those two to get it to look pretty good. Now if there's a spot where you accidentally burned and you want to make it lighter, you can use the dodge tool and the dodge tool makes things lighter. So if you accidentally mess things up, you can use the dodge tool to kind of fix that a little bit, make that a little bit better. And there we go. So what we have here is we have this skull appearing to be sunken inside of this split open head, which is, which is really unique, really cool looking. So it's something that allows us to do some surrealist work. And notice we only have four layers. We just used a little bit of layer masking. We cut the face. We added some shapes, the ovals, to help make it look realistic. And then we added some shadowing with a dodging and burn tool. So that's cutting open a face and adding something inside of it. So enjoy.